With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let us start with our question. In this question, so there are three parts to the co this question and we need to answer each part. So in the first part, uh, we need to find the energy uh, needed to remove a neutron from the nucleus of a, uh, this calcium isotope uh, 42. Now in this case, for the A part, first of all, we write, we are having a calcium 42. Okay. So we are removing what? We are removing one neutron. So neutron would be, so uh, there won't be any charge on the neutron. One. Okay. Now it would be converted into, so it would be con converted into if we just uh, balance the uh, upper part, the mass one. So it would be 41 and here it would be 20. Okay. That means uh, this is the case. Now we need to find what is the energy required. So we know that first of all, we need to find what is our delta M or the difference between the mass of the reactant and the product. So the mass of this one, uh, 42 calcium has been given. It is 41.96, uh, sorry, 958622 minus this is the uh, this mass of the reactant minus the mass of the product it is 41 calcium the mass is given as to be 40.962278 plus the mass of the neutron this is equals to 1.008665 okay now if we calculate this then our delta m would turn out to be approximately 1.012321u okay this would be the value of the delta m now we, uh, we need to find what is the energy uh, energy needed. So E would be equals to delta M C square. This would be the energy. So we would be calculating the energy in terms of uh, this uh, MEV. Now this is the value. So we put the value of delta M 0 0.012321. So if, if you wanted to calculate the value in terms of this uh, uh, MEV, so we can just multiply it by 931.49. Okay. So finally this answer would turn out to be in MEV. So if we calculate this, then our E would turn out to be, E value would be 11.5 MeV. Okay. Now this is the A part. Now in the B part, what we are doing, we are just removing a proton. So instead of neutron, we are removing a proton from this. So in the B part, so first of all, we just write about the equation. So it is uh, uh, from calcium 42. Uh, this is would be 20. We are remo removing what? We are removing one proton. Okay. Now, if you just remove this proton, so it would be, so the uh, remain, uh, remainder of the portion, this would be equals to calcium because we can just balance. So 19 plus one would be equals to 20 and here it would be 41. Okay. This would be the case. Now, again, we can just find the value of the delta M. So the uh, difference between the masses of the reactant and the product. So 42, uh, uh, this 42 C mass has been given as to us as 41.958622 minus mass for our, uh, this uh, calcium is 40 point. 9618.2526 plus mass of the proton, it would be 1.007825. So if you solve this, then our delta M would turn out to be approximately equal to 0.011033u. Okay, this would be our delta M. Now, if we calculate what is the energy, so E would be equals to delta M C square. So we can just put the values 0.011033. And if we just multiply it by 931.49, uh, 931, it would be 931.49, 931.49. So our final answer would turn out to be in MEV. If we calculate this, this would turn out to be 10.27 MEV. So this is 10.27 MEV. So we have calculated uh, this uh, for uh, the proton case and also for the uh, this the case of the uh, this uh, uh, neutron. Now here it is also been asked why are the energies different? So in this condition, the energy is somewhat different. In this condition, energy is somewhat different. Why are these two? So we can see that our proton is proton is positively charged. Okay. Positively charged. So it would be feeling attraction plus repulsion also. Okay. Both the forces, Coulomb's force. Now neutron is neutral. Uh, neutron, we just write. Neutron would be neutral it would be neutral. That means there would be no charge. Okay. So uh, it won't be feeling any Coulomb's, uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, repuls repulsive force. So only it would be acted by the, uh, this nuclear forces, which would be the attractive forces. Now due to the repulsion forces, okay, due to the repulsion forces, what, what will happen? So the binding energy of the proton, binding energy of the protons would decrease. Okay. So that is why the energy which we have calculated here and here. So for the case of proton, it is coming out to be less. Okay. So this is the third part of the answer. 
So hope you understood the solution. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITJ and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.